Hi Doc, is it time for our three month checkup already? Yes it is, how are you feeling? I've been taking these meds forever now and I need more and more to make the pain go away. I still haven't been able to go back to work. I'm concerned you've been needing more medicine. Your pain really must be getting worse. I'm concerned too. I just want to get back to the way life was before the accident. Why do you think I've needed so much more medicine recently? I think you might have an addiction. I'm not addicted. You were the one who put me on these meds in the first place. If anything, this is your fault. I can only control so much. You shouldn't have gotten your Vicodin from multiple people. I wouldn't have to do that if you gave me what I need. The amount you're giving me just isn't enough. I understand you're in a lot of pain. I think we should discuss our options. What should I do? I can't bear the pain without the medicine. There are medicines we can give you in combination with therapy. Together it's very effective. Does this mean I need to stop my Vicodin? Unfortunately, that's the case. Okay, I understand. Let's talk about our options. Let's look at our report. Uh, this was a student-generated encounter, um, and we went through the sample equations, how many bad choices we made, one mixed, how many good choices we made. Um, we committed two judgmental responses at the beginning of the encounter, and we were medium in our empathy rating, um, so we could probably try to be more empathetic in our approach. Um, here we start off with, um, I think you might have an addiction was our first negative choice. And as you can see, we had other options available and this guides us to what that is for this interactive after action report. We shouldn't be blaming the patient, uh, which we did twice in a row. Um, but the other options were fairly good at that point. We ended up with a decent outcome. 